Renewed controversy surrounds the late actor Matthew Perry as recent claims by an anonymous close friend suggest that Perry had not been truthful about overcoming his battle with substance abuse. The friend alleges that Perry never truly achieved sobriety, contradicting the actor's assertions in his 2022 memoir where he claimed to have gone sober with the help of a sober coach and a close friend. The source states, he lied to everyone about being clean. He never was. It is very sad. You know, the biggest lie he told was probably to himself, shedding light on a continuous struggle for the beloved star. Perry's friend acknowledges his manipulative behavior regarding his struggles with substance use but emphasizes the persistent battle he faced every day. Autopsy findings obtained by the blast have confirmed the actor's cause of death as a ketamine overdose, along with contributing factors such as drowning, coronary artery disease, and the effects of buprenorphine. Perry was reportedly undergoing treatment for depression via ketamine infusion therapy, but the overdose occurred about a week and a half after his last session. The manner of death is officially ruled as an accident. In his revealing memoir released in November of the previous year, Perry detailed his arduous battle with addiction, disclosing that his journey toward sobriety cost him a staggering $9 million. After his colon exploded in 2018, Perry turned to street dealers for OxyContin, facing potentially fatal consequences. The actor underwent numerous surgeries, rehab visits, Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, and detox sessions in his quest to overcome addiction, claiming success and leading a healthier lifestyle. Concerns have arisen regarding the circumstances surrounding Perry's ketamine overdose, with his ex-girlfriend, Katie Edwards, calling for a thorough investigation into the doctors involved in administering treatments to him. Edwards, who used to buy drugs for Perry, expressed disbelief at reports that he obtained drugs from the street and called for further explanations from his doctors. She suspects that Perry's ketamine therapy may have played a role in pushing him back into drug use, emphasizing the need to investigate the medical professionals involved. Perry's former partner revealed that she wasn't surprised by the autopsy report, as Perry didn't seem right during the last couple of weeks of his life. The circumstances surrounding his passing continue to raise questions about the complexities of addiction and the treatment he received.